Hi guys, it's Marika, um, again from the Milton Public Library, bringing you five more realistic fiction novels. Um, to start, we're going to start with Camp Average by Craig Battle. Um, this book is about Mac and his friends, and every summer they go to Camp Avalon, um, and this summer will not be any different, or so it seems. When they get to Camp Avalon, which they call Camp Average uh, because they never win any of the um, camp sports things, which they're fine with because they would much rather um, do all of the fun summer things you go to camp for instead of spending all their time worrying about sports. But this year they get a new camp counselor and this new camp counselor wants to win. He has to win and he tries to force the boys to also want to win. The boys do not want to, that's not why they go to camp. So they decide that they're gonna fight back. So this is this, that story um, and it's hilarious and absurd and it's a really good underdog style story. So that's Camp Average by Craig battle. The next book I have for you is called The Science of Unbreakable Things. This book is by Tay Keller and it is about Natalie. Um, Natalie's mother is really depressed, like can't get out of bed depressed. And Natalie um, thinks that if she can win the egg drop contest and win the prize money, um, with her friend and this new kid that she'll be able to use that prize money to take her mom to see the um, cobalt blue orchids. Her mother is a botanist and plants are her whole life and make her very happy. So Natalie believes that if she can do this for her mom, that that'll bring her mom out of this depression um, and make her happy again. So this is a really great book about friendship, family, and hope. This is called The Science of Unbreakable Things and it is by Tay Keller. The next book I'm going to bring you or show you is called Get a Grip, Vivi Cohen. And this book is by Sarah Capit. Um, Vivi is an autistic girl who gets um, invited to be on an all boys baseball team. Um, her mom is a little apprehensive about that, but Vivi really, really wants to do it. She loves baseball. Then through a teacher, he urges her to um, write a letter to her hero, major league baseball player, VJ uh, Capello. So now she has everything that she's wanted. She's on a team, um, she has a best friend, and she knows VJ Capello. Um, the story is told through letters between her and VJ Capello. Um, and this is a great book about family, friendship, and living with autism. So this is called Get a Grip, Vivi Cohen, and it is by Sarah Caput. The next book I'm going to show you is called Park. This is by Danielle Svetkov. Um, Park is told in two perspectives um, by Janine Ann, a smart yet stubborn girl who lives in a van with her mother, and then Cal, who's quiet and sensitive and lives in a huge house across the street from the van park that, um, Janine Ann lives in. Um, Cal wants to help the people in the van park. His mom is trying to get them all towed and Cal wants to help them. Um, Janine, Janine, Janine Ann wants to find a permanent resident anywhere. Together, maybe they can figure something out, although she is a little bit reluctant to accept his help. Um, so this is really their story of two people from separate worlds, really, um, working together to find a better place for a bunch of different people. Uh, it's a funny and warm book about the craziness of friendships and family and um, accepting help in order to start to help yourself. So this book is called Parked and it is by Danielle Svetkov. 
maybe I'm getting better with these names or just less noticeable that I'm messing them up. The last book is quite a different book. Um, this is called The Crossover and it is by Kwame Alexander. And this book is about Josh and his twin brother, Jordan. They've always been really, really close. And thanks to their dad, um, they're basketball superstars at school. But um, Josh has more in him than just basketball. So this is a really funny story um, written in verse, which is you know, pretty neat and it has a rhythm of its own that you can read it in. Um, and this book is about growing up brotherhood and basketball. So this book is called The Crossover by Kwame Alexander. So those are all the books that I have for you today. I hope at least one of them, possibly a couple of them, um, pique an interest in you. I do know that two of these books are part of a small series. Both of these have multiple books in them if that's something that you do enjoy. So yeah, we'll see you again. Bye.